Let's paint a different picture of this situation. Hey Power Director peeps, how y'all doing out there? My name is Malik and I'm back on your screen bringing you some more Power Director love from Power Director University. For those of you who didn't know, Power Director Ultimate has a handwriting, drawing, or paint tool it's right at your fingertips. You can use it to add some great effects to your videos. So let's jump off into Power Director 14 Ultimate and I'll show you how to get it done. All right, Power Director peeps, here we are in Cyberlink Power Director 14 Ultimate. And before I get started, I got to remind you of a quick thing. Remember to like, comment, and share this video. When you do that, it lets people know that the content in this video is good, and it lets them know that they should watch it too because it's bringing them valuable information. So like, comment, and share, all right? Don't forget to subscribe to Power Directed University. When you subscribe to Power Directed University, you get information every time I upload a video so that you don't miss out on the power director love that I'm giving you. So remember to subscribe to the channel because if you don't, you're going to be missing out and you'll have no one to blame but yourself. Let's get into the tutorial. As you can see, I have a photo of a map a good old Texas in a timeline. All right. So I'm going to use this as a demonstration piece for this video. You could use a picture, you could use a video, you could use whatever media that you could bring down in the timeline. It does not have to just be a photo. All right. Now, in order to get to the paint designer, the first place you need to go is to the PIP objects room. And then once you're here, you need to click on this little drawing tool up here, which is the paint designer. And when you click on that, it opens up Paint Designer. So let's talk a little bit about the interface. For File, Edit, Tools, and Playback, all of these options up here are the same options as the ones that are on the side. So I'm just going to talk about the things going down the side. The first one is your paint settings. So the first one is Brush Mode. When you have Brush Mode selected, you can choose from any one of the brushes here to go ahead and utilize to draw on top of the image that you have here or to draw on top of a transparency, which I'll show you in a second. The other option is inverse mode. When you select inverse mode, it will change from the image that you have in the timeline or the video in the timeline to the color that you selected for your brush. So I had red selected, so it changed it to red. And now the only option I have here is to erase the red. If I erase the red, it'll show the image that I have underneath it. So I'm going to go back to brush mode. The next option that we have here is to show the current timeline image as the background. So whatever you have in a timeline by your playhead, it's going to show up as the image here. That's a great thing to do when you want to draw over the image and have it match exactly what's in the image. But if you just want to draw something that you want to use over and over again, like let's say you want to do your signature or you want to draw a flower or your logo or whatever, then you can just uncheck this. And when you do, it'll just be uh, alpha channel. So it'll just be basically transparent. And whatever you draw on top of here, you can just place on top of any video or any picture, but you can actually do that even if you have something in here as the background, but don't worry about it. I'll explain that in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and add the background back so I can see that and use that as the example. So I talked about the different brushes a little bit. You got pencil, chalk, marker, crayon, and pen, and then you have eraser. So whichever one you select, it shows as an example here. And it also shows with the color that you selected. So if I choose marker, it's going to change the way it looks. If I choose pen, it's going to show the example of pen. If I choose a different color, it'll show it in the color that I select. All 
And I can also change the width. So I can move it to the right to make it larger or move it to the left to make it slimmer. And then as you saw, I could change the color. And also, I can make sure that whatever I draw gets inserted at the playhead position in the timeline. So if I click on this, whatever I draw will be added to the timeline on the next available track right where I have my playhead. So let's say I was doing a little vacation video and I wanted to show the trip, pretend like I'm going from San Antonio to Houston. Well then I need to click on the record button and then I am allowed to draw or write or do whatever I want to do. So I'm going to click on the record button and I'm going to do my path. And I'm going to click on the record button to stop it. And now my playback keys become available to me and my snapshot key becomes available so I can play to preview what it's going to look like. I can stop it. I can take a snapshot of this if I want to. All those things are lovely and delicious. Now that I'm done, I have a few options. I can click on share and I can share it to the director zone so other people can have this drawing as well. I can do save as and it'll save a template of this. I can do save. It'll also save a template, but then what I can also do is after I do save is I can draw more. I can click save again or whatever I want to. So I don't have to just have the one drawing. I can hit record again right now and record some more stuff and then click save to save it. Or I can click on cancel. So no matter how I save it, it's gonna save it as a overlay with the alpha channel. So it'll save it as just that red line with the transparency underneath it so that I can place it on top of this photo of the map. I can place it on something else if I want to. I can use it however I'd like to, but you'll see in a second what I mean. So I'm gonna click on save. I'll give it a name. I'm gonna press okay. Now, because I had to add it to the timeline, it added it to the timeline automatically for me. Now, if I press play, you see the animation of the line over the map. Now, if I wanted to make it take longer for the line to go across the screen, then all I need to do is left click on this after I place my cursor at the end and drag this out to make it longer. And now it'll take longer for the line to go across the screen. If I wanted to make it go across faster, I could do the same thing except go to the left and make it shorter and the line will go across the screen much faster. So this is a very powerful tool. You can use it for a lot of different things, not just creating maps and lines like I did. You can write with it. You can draw things with it. You can save them to use them later in case you want to use something over and over again on your videos, like maybe your signature. It's a great tool. Take advantage of it. All right, guys, you know the routine, the thumb, the one that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it. Hug it. Show the thumb some love, people. If you like the content in this video, hit the thumb and let others know that the content is good. Don't forget to leave comments on the video. If you got a question, go ahead and ask it. I'll try to answer you. If I can't answer you, I'll point you in the right direction to get you some help so you can get your question answered. And last but not least, you got to subscribe to the channel. If you don't subscribe to the channel, you'll miss out whenever I upload content. And that's a no-no. All right. So make sure that you subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.